peekaboo. <laughs> oh boy, not not as in peekaboo the game. No, 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 no. As in peekaboo Idaho. That's right. I found my way to peekaboo Idaho, and I gotta be honest. Until uh, a couple days ago, I had never even heard of peekaboo. Well, I'd heard of Peekaboo the game, but not Peekaboo Idaho. So I found my way here to Peekaboo Idaho, and Peekaboo Idaho is actually quite famous. It's quite famous in part because this is where you'll find Silver Creek, and Silver Creek is where I hope to catch my very first fish. That's right. I'm going, well, not my very first fish, but my very first fish when while fly fishing. So I found my way here to... Uh, to the Silver Creek store. And this is where you're gonna find Peekaboo Anglers. Peekaboo Anglers is like the place to go if you need fishing license, oh, fishing gear, uh, advice, you know, and what have you. So I've, I found my way in here and I've all actually met a, uh, a wonderful young man named, named Joseph who's working here at uh, Peekaboo Anglers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside and I, and introduce you, to, uh, introduce you to, to Joseph. And I want you to see this place. It's a nice little place. I don't know what the population of Peekaboo is. I think the population here, oh, the population here is probably about 700 people established in 1917. And this would be your this would be your post office. Look at this. Look at these mailboxes here. You see, you got the you got the little little combination here. I'm I'm guessing. But look at those look at those old fashioned uh, PO boxes, if you will. And here's some information to Kilpatrick Brothers Railroad Builders, founders of Peekaboo. These were the founders here of Peekaboo. You can read up on the. Uh, you can read up on the founders, but boy, what a nice place. And you know, if I, if I sound excited, it's because I am. I have been, you know, I've been carrying around a, 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 fishing, a fishing pole and a, and, a, and a fishing reel and a whole bunch of gear that a wonderful man up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho gave me uh, for the last couple weeks now. And I'm hoping I am hoping that I am going to catch myself a fish, or maybe maybe even more than a fish. But uh, look at this right here. I don't know quite what that is. 1886, Kilpatrick Brothers. Isn't that something? Oh, what a place this is. This is really a magical, magical little place. Look at this. There's Bud from the KK Ranch. Bud Purdy, the tall oak tree. A mighty wind blew night and day. It stole the oak tree's leaves away, then snapped its boughs and pulled its bark until the oak tree was tired and stark. But still the oak tree held its ground while other trees were falling all around. Oh, what a nice place this is. Look, they've got a, they've got a grill back here. There's a, there's a moose up on the, I think that's a moose. Is that a moose? Sure. It's gotta be a moose. Really cool. Really, really cool. And then over here they've got a uh, well they've got a restaurant. You can come in and get yourself a, a bite to eat. Now I know I'm going to get myself a, I'll probably get myself a hat and a shirt. But, uh, those are the women's. Incredible. Silver Creek, I'll have to get myself a, I have to get myself a shirt. All types of cool stuff here. Here's the, you can sit over here and get yourself a, a bite to eat. Wow. Very nice. And I'm gonna be here, I think. I think I'm gonna hang out here the better part of a the better part of a week. 
we will uh, we will see as the saying goes. Look at this this saddle right here. This is Bud Ferdy Senate. I would imagine that's his his saddle with his uh, his chaps and his jacket. Oh, here comes lunch. Look at this old register here. Look at that. I actually had a friend that actually. That's something. Kilpatrick Brothers. Wow. They're selling a gold panning kit. All types of good stuff. And here's all the, uh, well, over here, look, you can buy yourself a, come in and get yourself a rod and reel. There's your rods across the way there, and there's your, there's your reels. All types of stuff up on the, up on the uh, wall. Now look at that. There's Papa. Papa can only be one, one, the one and only Ernest Hemingway. Look at this. There he is, Ernest Hemingway, shortly, shortly before he passed. There's Ernest. Looks a little sad there. Bud and Ruth and Bill Purdy with Ernest and Mary Hemingway. There's Bud and Ruth Purdy with Ernest Hemingway at Dollar. Wow. Writer, Hunter, Idahoan. Look at that. In the life section of the what paper is that? I guess that's the Idaho Statesman newspaper from uh, 19, 1996, interestingly enough. Ernest Hemingway visited the Ketchum Sun Valley area periodically to hunt, fish, and write beginning in the fall of 1939. Now look at all of these. Look at all of these flies here. Boy, now I don't even know where you begin. You know, where you be, even begin, they have what are called attractors and, and, and mouse flies. See, spring fleet flies. They're not all that expensive, actually. Two, two ninety-five. dollars Look at some of these. H&H &H Emerger, Last Chance Cripple, Quigley Stacker, Trico Parachute, Quill Comparadun. Oh, ooh, Sparkle Flag. There's the... Uh, there's the sparkle flag right there. Really something. What a nice place this is. Now that's what I want to catch. I want to catch one of those right up there. And maybe I'll get my new maybe I'll get my my, my picture in the paper. And and there's Joseph. <laughs> Good day, doing? Joseph. How are you? Super well. I was just telling everybody about this wonderful young man in the uh, in the fly shop that Thank was going to set me up. Heck yeah, are you, we are. Are you from this area? So I was born and raised kind of sort of in Boise uh -huh. and then moved out here for the summer to work seasonally as a guide and shop employee. Really? Yeah, it's wow, great. Wow, fantastic. It's and, great. This is my first season here. And you're a fisherman. I am. When's the last time you landed a fish? Uh, last night my client <laughs> got this fish in the middle of the night. Your client got this fish. Sure, you're a guide? I am. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh my god. So okay. that was last night. All right, so we're moving right along here. And uh, you go by Joe or Joseph? Either one. Either one. You don't go by Joey, do you? Definitely not. Okay, no Joey. Okay, I don't we like... become enemies if you do. I, I don't like Tommy either. You don't call me Tommy, I won't call you Joey, okay? <laughs> okay, All right, good. so so Joe jo and I are, are moving along, and, and he's trying to get me all dialed in. And he's, he was going to say, I need a leader. And I said, I got a leader. And he said, well, what else do you got? And I ran out to my, I ran out, and I'll show you. Let, let, let's, sh let's show you what I got okay. here. Okay, we'll this, see what we can work with. Yeah, so this is what the old man, I shouldn't call him an old man, okay? But this is what the, this is what the old man gave me. Okay. He gave me a pair of boots okay. with felt bottom. Yeah, perfect. Is that good? Perfect. Okay. He also gave me a few magazines, oh, Trout, wow. Trout, uh, the Fly Shop, Fly Fisherman, Good. Fly Fishing. So I, so I got my books, okay? <laughs> what else did he give me here? He gave me this. The vest. Look at this. You gotta have a vest. You know, you, you gotta, that's what he told me, uh -huh. you see? 
he gave me a vest. He said that it will go good with my crackle my crackle I dig the hat. You yep. know? That's great. You know, so I got my uh I got this hat in Australia. That's super nice. Okay, so anyway, so now we got my vest. What else have we got in here? <laughs> He yeah, gave no. me this, the hatch guide for Western streams. Yep, so that's how you learn your aquatic insects, your entomology. You're smart. Entomology? Entomology. That's the, a 50 the study cent. Of, the that's, study of bugs. That's a 50 cent word. <laughs> what else do we got in here? Okay, so now, this is some of the other stuff that I got here. I've got Power Flex Trout Tape Leader. That would be a, a 4X leader. Okay. It looks like you have two left in there. It looks like your 4X leader is right here on your on your line already. Okay, so I got two of those. That's and then really I got good. That's what we need. Super strong tippet material. Yep, so how to extend your leader is I'm going to teach you a double surgeon's knot or a blood knot. And that's okay. how you connect your leader to your tippet. All right. And then I've got, what is this? 4X tippet. 4X tippet. Yep, you got 4X here. You have uh -huh. two things of 4X and a thing of 5X. Okay, and then I've got, what is this, uh, Scientific Angler's Mastery. So this was the fly line that he put on your reel. It's empty. He uh, just gave okay. you the box. Okay. So this line is on your reel currently. Wonderful. And then he gave me, he gave me one of these here. Let's see. Yeah. You see, this? he said this will go on my hat. That's pretty nice. You see? That'll be good to fish in yes. the afternoon, evening. Yeah, so I got, I got that. What else did he give me here? Gotcha. He gave me uh, some of these. Forceps. Forceps. That's how you remove the hook. That's how you remove the hook. Uh, I don't know. They think they're more flies. And he gave me this. This is a, uh, I guess it's a, a magnifying glass. Something. It goes around my, it goes around my neck, like this, and I guess it just, there you go. Oh, there you go, now you can see. You now I can see or something. Tie a small fly on. Exactly, you know, so yeah. that's what I got. What else do I need? So, to be completely honest with you, with your tippet and your leader, you uh -huh. actually have what you need for Silver Creek, for the big wood. I have no clue what that is. Okay. Okay, so I've got what I need. Yeah. Cool. You've got good leader and good tippet. So 4X is a, based by the number, is the strength of your leader. Okay. So when it says it's a tapered leader, I'm going to have you feel this. Feel how heavy that is. Right. That's like 35 pound test. Okay. But now when it means tapered, hold it. Yeah. See how it's thinning out, thinning out, thinning yeah, out, yeah, thinning yeah. out, thinning out, thinning out. Oh, that's it's real your, thin now. That's your 4X down there. Okay. That's your forex. Fantastic. So, Joe, excuse me one moment. Uh -huh. We're gonna stop, folks. We'll be back in a minute, okay? And we'll get uh, we'll get all dialed in. We could <laughs> we could film this whole thing, but yeah, that would be a little bit uh, that'd be a little Lengthy. bit long. But it, before before we pause, uh -huh. I want to book you for Thursday. Okay. Thursday is the twelfth. Okay. Now the reason I'm booking him is he knows how to fly a drone. <laughs> you know? Now, I'm on my fourth drone okay. in 12 months. Really? Trees, and, trees and drones don't go well together. Uh-uh. You know? No, trees and drones and dogs don't like drones. Dogs don't like drones. No, bees dro don't like drones either. Which one? Bees. Bees? In, or in birds. Bees and birds. Have you had that experience? We got all sorts <laughs> of obstacles to deal with. All right, folks. We'll be back. GoPro, stop recording. All right. So, Joe is giving me a little lesson here. And uh, what are we doing now? They, 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 you have my my lead, my leader, lead, my leader uh -huh. which was a little bit frayed. And we broke it. And you broke it off. Because we don't want you to hook a fish and lose him, right? Right. Now, what we're doing is your leader is still plenty long. It's still plenty good to reuse. Uh -huh. So I'm going to be teaching you a double surgeon's knot. Double surgeon. Surgeon. Yep. Double, double yep. surgeon knot. Yep. My boss might kill me for this. He loves the blood knot. But uh -huh. I'm going to teach you the double surgeon because it's the easiast to learn. Okay, so you've got my my your leader, leader and my tippet. And we got we're using your 4x tippet to extend your leader. Do you always use a tippet? I always use tippet. Yeah. Okay, you always use a tippet. But there's a point to where when you continue adding tippet and continue tying on new flies, your leader will slowly keep nip 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 nip, and then it's time for a new leader. 
I got gotcha. you. But okay. we're we're making the life of this leader last. Okay, it's so you take you condition. take the leader yep. and you take the tippet. Now yep. the, people we're, aren't going to be able to see this right, too well. Right, but we're but, doubling it over. So you okay? You double it over. Then we're doing an overhand with the two. Okay, like and that. And then all I'm doing with the two is I'm putting both the four X and the leader through this overhand uh -huh. twice. Hence the double. Twice. The double surgeon. Now we have an overhand uh -huh. with, they've gone through twice. Okay. You can actually see that pretty good. I'm gonna wet it to prevent the friction. Uh -huh. Let me pull them tight. And that's it? Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna tighten those and two. And then you cut off those little, mm -hmm. uh, those little ends there? Exactly. Joe, you're good on camera. You I know? do a lot of camera stuff. You know, it's fun. you 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 could be. Who knows? Maybe you'll be discovered on my on my YouTube channel. <laughs> maybe you'll be the next. You'll, you'll be the Justin Bieber of oh. fly fishing, right? And you'll Hopefully. have you'll have you'll have girls from all around the world wanting to come here and book Joe. That would right? be pretty funny. And that would be great. You'll jump up to the top of the list of all the, of all the fly guides. <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe one day. All right. So hopefully you, you, we can bring some more people you, into Peak Boy. We got the double sturgeon. Okay. okay up there. I can get you here. Okay. All right. Yep. So Joe's going to ring up this uh, gentleman here and we'll be right back. All right. So Joe says this is the uh, this is the important one here. Is this the fly? This is the fly that I may catch my very first fish on. Yes. Right here. And what what kind of fly is this? This is a damsel fly. A damsel fly. Damsel. Yep. And we're, I'm going to be fishing the big wood. Today. Yeah. I'm going to send you to Silver Creek. Oh, today. Uh huh. Okay, I'll go to Silver Creek. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Yep. We'll get you a map and we'll get you in a good spot. Okay. So you're so going to show me how to do what, what's what's it? This knot called? is a, called a fisherman's knot, but a fisherman's knot. A clinch knot. A clinch knot. So okay. So this is the number one knot what most all anglers use to tie on their fly. Uh huh. So first, I made a V. I put it through just once. I'll start over. Okay. We put it through the eye. Okay. You're going to put it through. Make a V. You got a V, okay. We're gonna wrap it around this tag end seven times. One. The tag end. What? Yep. What is the tag? The end? tag end is the 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 end okay. where the line okay. ends. The tag end. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna wrap that around. Seven times. Seven times. Seven's a good number. Okay. Okay, there's seven. Okay. Uh huh. So now we have seven twists of the tag end around the main line, and okay. you can see that little hole in the bottom. Yes, see I see that. We're gonna take the tag in and go through the hole in the bottom. Okay. Okay. Yes. Here's where we are now. All right. See this big hole? Yeah. We're gonna go back through with the tag end. Interesting. Okay. And then we're gonna wet it and we're gonna finish it off. All right. What's up, Alex? Line one. He's asking about the big wood. Okay. Okay. And, and I cinch it down. And then you just cinch it down. Yep, and then we clip the tag in. And you clip it off. That is an improved clinch knot with 4X on your damsel. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Very, very good. And it's called a damsel? This is a damsel. All right, and you think that, uh, that, that, that my, I might have some good luck with that one in the- A uh, lot of fish on, on Silver, Silver Creek, Creek will splash at damsels. Uh -huh. so one of the, it's just a good fly for you to just walk, cover water, and you're just gonna- Fantastic. All right, sounds good. All right, folks. So I am, uh, I'm all set. And uh, oh, what a, you know, it's interesting how the the right people always come into my life at the at the right time, or seemingly, seemingly so. So what? Joe is a boy. Joe, if you ever see this video, you are top notch. What a nice young guy. Joe is uh, 19 years old. He told me. So it's. Uh, it's off to the off to the campground, so to speak, and uh, we will see if I'll go fishing. But uh, anyway, oh boy, have a uh, have a great day.